बिग सरप्राइज Yeah, so like, I don't really know how to open a video, to be honest. Alright, so probably already a couple of people thinking, what is this video? Why is this not an animation? Why is your face on my screen? Today, I'm going to be talking about a channel. The channel we're going to be discussing is Lizzie the Rat Sickle. 15. Her channel has around 16 and a half thousand subs to date and her whole channel has almost 3 million channel views. So the first point that I'm going to go over is subpar content. Now Lizzie isn't really an animator, she's more of a PowerPoint presentation maker at this point. Her videos don't really look like they're properly animated. They're more just a bunch of screenshots played back like a slideshow. Oh, Magic 8-Ball, is Lizzie really an animator? Maybe someday. So, first of all, the lip sync is lazy. Honestly, Lizzie, the effort you put into lip sync is absolutely abysmal. Now, don't get me wrong, lip syncing isn't the easiest thing in the world, but there's a difference between being bad at lip sync and just being plain lazy. Now, as you can see on her channel, she's been making animations for more than a year now, which is more than enough time to grasp basic understanding on how to do good lip syncing. So it's not that she doesn't know how, it's just she's too lazy to put in good work to make good lip syncing. Most of the animation she shits out onto this channel, she only uses two frames repeatedly when characters are talking. She'll pose a model, take two screenshots, one of the mouth open and one of the mouth closed, and then play them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for as long as the sentence is playing. It's just a shame, really, how little effort has been put into some of these talking animations. You'd think with an audience the size of hers should actually put some more effort into the lip sync. Next, the voice acting is really cringy and bad. Screaming into the mic is not voice acting. The microphone quality is also abysmal, yet she claims to be a voice actor. Show yourself! Oh, come on! Some bloody voice actor you are, love. To be fair, if you did upgrade your mic, your videos would still be just as bad, but the sound would be in HD. In the Marie's Tricky Holiday video, you can barely hear the voices of the characters over the sound of the background talking. Anyways, I've watched you for a while. Also, in some of her animations, the characters sound the exact same. What will you bring for me for the holiday gift exchange? I was just about to ask the same thing. Which sometimes makes it hard to distinguish who's talking. If we're getting into the nitpicky stuff, I'd say that in the vicious cycle video, you didn't pan in enough so you can see black edges on the side of the screen. It's not really a great way to simulate an explosion effect. Also, that explosion is a still screenshot of- I, look, you can see it. It's a still screenshot. That's not an explosion, Lizzie. That's a fucking picture of an explosion that's been paused. That's- that's not proper animating. In the A Squidmas Special video, fantastic fucking title, by the way. Doesn't make me want to throw up in my own mouth and swallow it again. The whole first section of the video is four screenshots played repeatedly for a whole eight seconds. That has to be the laziest thing I've ever seen done in an animation. And this missing panel running joke slash skit slash whatever you want to call it may have been funny to you the first time you did it, but when you make the joke over and over and over again, it just becomes increasingly unfunny each time. You're also just admitting to everyone that you are a lazy animator and you really cannot be bothered to put time into your work. And finally, what I talked about at the beginning with the slideshows, etc. The frames in your animations are so bloody spaced out. I'd imagine it's what it looks like if you try and run a 4K game on a 3DS. You also use Comic Sans in your videos, like non-ironically, I'm pretty sure. But why? Anyway, the next point we're going to talk about is censorship, mainly the censorship of criticism. Fuck on it, bitch, on it, mistress. Now, some people have tried to talk to Lizzie about the quality of her videos. For example... I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so yesterday, whilst I was recording everything you've watched so far, 
at the point where I got to talking about the Steam comments, my camera actually died. So this footage right now that you're watching is actually recorded a day later than everything you've watched so far. So if something's moved in the background or the lighting has changed, that's why. All right, so I seem to remember I was talking about Steam comments and Nifty Robo. Let's see, I've got a great memory. I totally didn't just read that off my script. Okay, so for example, fuck. Are you serious? Low battery. Again. Where's my bloody charger? So, for example, Nifty Robo took to her Steam profile, trying to give her some criticisms about the production of her videos. These criticisms covered things like the voice acting in the videos, the inconsistent writing, the pacing of the videos. But instead of leaving the messages there and defending herself, she deletes the comments and then blocks him. After she's deleted these comments, she then calls him jealous. Jealous spelt a little bit wrong, love. If you'd have actually took the time to read his comments, you'd see that he was only trying to improve your content by telling you what you're doing wrong and giving you a couple of pointers. Kinda like what I'm doing now. To further prove this point that she censors criticism, to further prove this point that she censors criticism, I actually took it into my own hands to pass on a message for Nifty Robo. In this message, he basically talked about why she should deal with certain criticisms instead of just blocking people out. Oh wait, she deleted my comments and blocked me too, of course. Oh, and would you look at that, her profile is now also private. That's one way to deal with life, I suppose. Just pretend the outside world isn't there. Okay, and now I think we're going back to yesterday's footage because I think I fixed my camera at this point. Can take off this bloody blazer now. What the fuck? It speaks for itself, really. Okay, let's move on to our next point. Laziness. <laughs> This seems to be a popular topic of this video, doesn't it? So it takes her about two to three months to make about an eight to 10 minute video. But there's one video in particular, which is called Catch the Cheesecake Feet. Catch the Cheese Cake. Mm. I don't know, maybe maybe my mouth's just dehydrated. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so an example is the Catch the Cheesecake Thief video, which is an 11 minute long video, which took five months to make. So you're telling me a 10, 11 minute long video, minus the credits, okay? So a 10 minute long video took you five months, almost half a year to make for an animation, which is mainly compiled of still screenshots. I struggle to see why that should take so long to make. It's not as if you're putting any effort into the video. It's not as if the lip sync takes any effort. As I talked about before, most of the scenes are just still screenshots played over and over again, which takes a lot less time to do than real lip sync. Additionally, it's not just the lip sync work that is lacking in all of her videos. It's sometimes just the general flow of the animation. For example, there's multiple times in this animation where she doesn't even animate the motion of the ragdolls properly. Like how Mario appears next to the door then it goes through him somehow and it just it's just appears open like there's no in between frames and again when these two characters just appear from behind the wall they don't they don't run along or anything they just they just appear there you know how you could improve this is just uh, maybe put one or two frames in the middle of of start to end so it actually looks like something's traveled and there's an actual animation going on there you know you're actually creating the illusion of movement not just two pictures played after one another oh okay so the next point is audience interaction that was, that was, that was funny So with over 16,000 subscribers, you're gonna have people talking to you in that kind of fan manner. You know, you're gonna have little kids like, yeah, I wanna be like you. You're my idol. Hey, hey, can we be friends? Add me on Roblox, please. You wanna share a house on Minecraft, baby? Hey girl, you wanna use my leather sword? Lizzie, you, my friend, you're not my friend. I very much dis- You need to learn how to talk to your fans better and consider their feelings a bit more. Now, I'm not talking about the people who criticize you who aren't really your fans. I'm talking about the people who genuinely probably look up to you for 
some bloody reason. Before I continue talking about this point, I just want to take the time to acknowledge that the evidence I'm about to use to back up a claim is fairly minimal. This is due to the supporting evidence I was going to give was a video which contained the screenshot of the Steam chat between Lizzie and one of her fans. However, the user found out what I was planning to do with his video and has since removed the video from his channel. I guess that'll teach me to keep my mouth shut. I can assure you the image is not photoshopped. However, if you choose not to believe me on this one, I can see why. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to point out. In this crisp 1080p 17k image, what is shown is a conversation between Lizzie and one of her fans, that fan being the user of the channel Jack Tropolis, another Splatoon animation channel. So what is shown in the screenshot is Jack telling Lizzie that he's finished an animation using her sonar and is wondering if she'll voice act for him because he's gone to the time and effort to make an animation with her character in. So he asks, would you like to voice her? It's all up to you. You know, being polite, given the no pressure approach. And she responds with, no way. That's really nice, Lizzie. <laughs> really nice. Picture this, right? So you're making an animation with your, let's say, favorite Gmod animator as the main character. And it's a person you look up to and you want to ask them, hmm, you know, maybe they'll voice act for me. You know, seeing as though I've gone to the effort to make this animation about you. But anyway, she replies with, no way. You know, it just, it just makes you feel a slight bit insignificant and probably also made him feel like he's not good enough. What you should have done, Lizzie, is perhaps been a bit more polite. You know, and just said, oh, sorry, I can't, I'm busy. <coughs> Great job. Why the bloody hell do you have 16,000 subscribers, honestly? So, yeah, I think that's pretty much most of the things I wanted to cover. That's the main ones anyway. Whilst we're all here, I suppose I can say thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I am currently in the process of making an animation for 2,000, but until then, sit tight.